So if this is not a reaction video, I mean, it's a reaction video, but it's not a reaction video like I usually do my reaction videos. Usually I see the title of a game that I know and I record the footage without watching it and then I react on camera. But the prerequisite for that is knowing the title. I had no idea what this was. And like your regular no life human, especially now in 2020, I was scrolling on YouTube and I stumbled across a video with this thumbnail, this, this one right here. It looked like a monkey with armor. If you're the kind of person who doesn't click on a thumbnail with a monkey with armor, then I, I just, uh, I don't know what you're doing. The point is, I wasn't even planning on making a video on this until I watched it. So just to start off, this is positive. It's a, it's a positive thoughts video, but stay tuned because I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. When the preview starts out, you start off as a golden cicada, which is pretty cool because it's golden. Like it's a golden cicada. Like I've never even heard of that. Like. What the f is that? And just to give a little backstory on your boy and cicadas, y'all are probably right now like, you have a backstory with cicadas? Yeah, I have a backstory with cicadas. Well, it's less of a backstory and more of an experience. Where I live, every 17 years, this special species of cicadas comes and they're super loud and they leave their shedded skin on trees and they it, it feels like an infestation. It feels like the plague, except audio-wise. And if I have to see him again, it's, it's, you know what time it is. At this point, you're like, what kind of false advertising in this? Like, you show me a monkey with armor, yet you have me playing as a cicada. Like, what? And in that moment, you're like, this could only go one of two ways. But you realize you're not getting much at the moment because the way the camera is, it can only go up from here because this, this, this wasn't working. Then you actually turn into the main character in a stylish way, might I add, and you realize that the environment's actually really pretty. Then he does this, this right here. That's fire. That mixed with the fact that this is only alpha footage and he's using Bruce Lee signs automatically jumps this game up 10 levels. At this point, I'm like, oh, this game looks tough. It looks good. On my first watch of this trailer, the only thing I could say in my head was, where have I seen this before? It looks vaguely familiar, especially when this guy showed up. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Hey, monkey. Yeah, you bitch. Oh. It looked so familiar, I was expecting him not to be dead when his health bar was fully depleted. But then I remembered seeing the main character perform the Shadow Clone Jutsu, and I was Boy. like, wow, where have I seen that before? Then he turned into the monkey version of Niza with a flaming bow staff. Then he turned into George from Rampage, and I was like, whoa, 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 slow down. How do you go from this to this? You show me like four different fighting styles. This is a mix of Naruto, Sekiro, Yakuza, and Ghost of Tsushima all in one. And I decided that this would be the best game to come out on next gen consoles. So as the premier previewer on YouTube, as decided by a popular vote, there's no need to consult with other YouTubers or watch it yourself as everything I say should be final. So thank you. It still kind of sucks to have to do this twice though. 